Hello students, this video is for chapter 1.4, the early church assignment. Um, I'm going to skim over the beginning because we did it in class together. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do want to look at, though, is the self-evaluation part. Make sure you're reading the two objectives, right? Our content objective and our skill objective, which are from our criteria for success, right? And you guys are just completing the before section, okay? And you're going to use the directions down here. That's why it's really important to read all the directions so you guys would know what numbers you're supposed to use. It's either a three, two, or one. Make sure you guys are reading that. Once you're done with the assignment, you can come back and you can rate yourself again on that scale of three. So kind of skipping past the first couple parts. The empire accepts Christianity. So this is the part that I didn't get to go quite into as many details as I wanted earlier. Um, that question is asking us to identify the central idea of the section. So this is number six. We're going to cite evidence, <clears throat> meaning straight from the text. Okay. Remember, every time it says cite evidence, quote a sentence from the text above. Use the sentence starter below. According to the text, it states. So we're going to put that in there because that is our sentence starter. <clears throat> and that is the proper format. Okay. The empire accepts Christianity. In the early 300 CE, the empire, the emperor, excuse me, Diocletian carried out the last great persecution of Christians, but his attempt failed. Christianity had grown too strong to be destroyed by force. In 312 CE, the Roman emperor Constantine prepared to lead his military forces into battle. According to some early Christian writers, Constantine had a remarkable dream the night before the battle. In the dream, he saw a flaming cross in the sky. Written beneath the cross were the Latin words that meant, in this sign you will conquer. The next day, Constantine ordered his soldiers to paint the Christian cross on their battle shields. Constantine won the battle and believed the Christian God had helped him. Okay, the central idea of this section. What is it trying to tell us about? What is, what are some, what's one sentence you can pick out that you can find details that will explain more about what the section is about? Now, the title helps us. The empire, the empire accepts Christianity. Now, I don't necessarily see a sentence in here that tells me about the empire accepting Christianity, right? In fact, the first sentence talks about Diocletian carrying out the last great persecution of Christians. Persecution is like um, killing, arresting, kicking out of places. Uh, so that's really bad. Um, and then the rest of this paragraph doesn't really give us much. His attempt failed. Christianity had grown too strong. Doesn't ever say anything about accepting, right? So then sometime later, Emperor Constantine prepares to lead his forces into battle. According to some writers, Constantine had a remarkable dream. Okay. So as I'm reading, it seems like the dream is important, but it doesn't really tell me about accepting Christianity because it never says that he does that. Now, the last paragraph has a lot of good information in it. The next day, Constantine orders soldiers to paint the Christian cross on the battle shield. Okay. So that gives me more information. That seems, it seems like Constantine likes Christianity. Okay. But again, I'm trying to look for the central idea. I'm trying to find one sentence that best summarizes this passage. Constantine won the battle and believed the Christian God had helped him. I feel like I think that is the best possible sentence for a central idea. So we know that Constantine wins a battle, and we know that he believes the Christian God had helped him. Okay, so this would be a good one-sentence summary to summarize this section, because now you could tell me, you can reasonably assume that Constantine, if he's winning this battle, he might, or it says right here he's the Roman emperor, right? Well, now that he won this battle, he might accept Christianity. So that can that's a reasonable assumption we can make, right? So you would copy that exact sentence into this box. So you write, Constantine won the battle, believe the Christian God had helped him. Boom. That's the central idea. And see how I did that? I used the title. I thought about what this section was mostly trying to tell me or what it was mostly about. Okay. So now you got a couple more paragraphs to read, and you're going to talk about other ways about Christianity getting accepted by the empire. Once again, citing evidence directly from the text. Make sure you're looking for details. Your exit ticket is a little different. You are writing in your own words and then citing evidence to support it. Make sure you carefully read that. And then the rest of this is mostly just citing evidence. As long as you're carefully reading the directions, you'll do perfectly fine on this assignment.